too windy. <laughs> no, I wasn't cutting you. I was doing like the director thing. I see. That was acting. Yes. Okay. Going on the bike on you in the morning. <laughs> Sounds like a horror movie. No, thank you, my love. Bye bye. <laughs> ah, in in, in sight si or this. What is our estimation? Sixty nine miles. Okay. Apparently, do you want to look for fuel there? Thank you. Um, what do you think if we ride slow now? Can we make it? It's like 70 miles. Okay, I think we can make it. Yeah, okay, let's, let's just do it. Good morning world! Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here near the town of Sai Otis in Kazakhstan. And really I say we're near a town, but I can't really see much around us except the massive Kazakh steppe which is basically a giant desert. We stayed last night at a roadside motel which was only three pounds a night. One of the cheapest places we've ever stayed in for this whole trip but it was also not very nice. <laughs> All camels in the morning. Hello. Beautiful. It wasn't very comfortable it was pretty much just um a wooden board with like a mattress topper on top. We will reconvene after trying to fix this. We bought some sticky pads. So I hope they will um, be good. <laughs> <laughs> so you just use a thin piece. Yeah. Okay. okay, problem solved for now. Today is a super exciting day because it is our last ride here on the Kazakh steppe. It's been a long road to get here from Shimkent over the last six days. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we have now made it all the way across Kazakhstan and we are now here. And we just have this little bit of road to go to reach the city of Aktau on the Caspian Sea. Today, we don't have that far to go to reach the city of Aktau. And Aktau is gonna be the place where we're gonna try and get Bumblebee shipped across the Caspian Sea to Azerbaijan. Normally, we would just take a ferry, us and Bumblebee together, but unfortunately, all land borders into Azerbaijan are still closed. So the only way for us to get into Azerbaijan is to fly in. So our plan is to put Bumblebee on a boat, fly over to Baku, go to the port, pick Bumblebee up, we should be on our way. Sounds like a plan. But at the moment we have no idea how that's going to happen, so we've got to get to Aktau, start googling it and try and make a plan. So for now we have just to make it to the next petrol station, which is actually 70 miles away. At the moment we have 71 miles in the tank. So it looks like that we just about make it. <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm gonna ride at 55 the whole time and we'll be fine. It's about 250 miles to Aktau. Google Maps says it will take us three and a half hours. It's already eight o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Suddenly we just dropped down from the step and into like this massive canyon area. Wow. Oh, look at this. So unexpected. You're messing with my sense of 
Oh, and look at all this like white layer of chalk here. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, this is the first landscape in probably 2,000 miles. <laughs> We still got 20 miles to reach the next petrol station and uh, the bike is estimating that it's got 25 miles left in the tank. Yes, pushing it quite a bit for sure. Uh, it's going to be pretty close in the end. Yeah, and now it's going a little bit uphill. We just walk downhill please! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time I have ever seen the estimation go into single digits. It's estimating that we have nine miles left in the tank. But no worries, because we are here. We have reached the town of Steppe with a whole nine miles still to go. Oh my God, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that too much. Actually, I've never seen both sides of the fuel gauge flashing at the same time before. Yes. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. Yep, that's definitely the closest we've ever pushed it in the whole journey. Crazy man. Yeah. But anyway, all good at the end, hey? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Eight miles. The estimates we had left in the end. Eight oh, man. miles. <sighs> you have to sing now Eminem. <laughs> My palms are sweaty. Bike going slow. Tank is empty. <laughs> There's no petrol stations anywhere. Um, <laughs> I can't think. I'm not a born rapper. Oh, look at this, we're coming through an oil field. Look at these machines. Wow. Cool. Rigs everywhere around this area, look at that. It's pretty crazy to think like here in the desert is like, you know, oil. Tons and tons and tons of oil underground. Crazy. And the machines are working 24 seven, eh? Wow. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Big pipes. So we're just coming into the outskirts of Aktau now and this is an incredibly industrialized city. Look at this. And you've just got all of these like gas reservoirs and like so much industrial stuff going on here. And everything just smells like gas. But the important thing is that our long ride in Kazakhstan is nearly over. Woohoo! Just three miles more to go. And we've actually booked an apartment on booking.com for two nights so that we can figure out how to get Bumblebee across the Caspian Sea. Hey, would you look at that? It's a pink lake. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, and you know what? I think we are just about to get in front of the Caspian Sea as well. Oh, look! There it is, the Caspian Sea. Nice. Nice. Yeah, our apartment is basically one street from the ocean. Nice. And it was the cheapest one as well, which yeah. is cool. <laughs> First it was like super industrial. I was like, whoa, what is this place? Yeah. And now we've just ridden into this area here and it's like, yeah, this is nice. It's nice. Look, there's a water park. Yeah, cool. Let's see if we can find like a little restaurant or something where we can um, contact the owner. Yeah. Look, a little cafe. Perfect. Oh, look at that. And the apartment is basically um one street behind just over there yeah you have to see though if it's open or not because it kind of looks closed no yeah, it does look closed actually yeah but look behind you wow there's the caspian sea <gasps> <Woo -hoo! laughs> beach day beach day beach day maybe we deserve a beach day yeah do we deserve a beach day for sure okay fine all right we're staying a little bit longer here we're gonna have some beach days <laughs> that's it I've decided. <laughs> so this place is closed. 
can't find anybody around so we're just gonna have a little ride down the strip here in front of the ocean and just see if we can spot a nice place to have some lunch there's some holiday makers yeah they look like holiday makers <laughs> nice yeah it's a holiday town yes slash oil and gas behemoth this looks like a pretty cool place and i can't believe our apartment's just right here yeah it's unbelievable look at that we're living the life now aren't we okay that's definitely a restaurant yeah and is it is it open though i don't know ah look i can cross over here let's see if okay. they're open okay they don't really look open though because it's not set up yet hello what time you open 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 uh, for food uh, now yes okay thank you i think they said they're open they were just setting up they must just be opening now oh, thank, thank you, you. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you pizza 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 look at this tasty margarita the way it's cool down yeah gotta be patient 12 seconds later mm -hmm. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Such a cool place to eat right by the ocean, hey? Yes, and the staff was really friendly. They were really interested in our trip because she saw the town of Taras written on our box. And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm actually born there and raised there. And now she moved here to Aktau. Very nice place to move to. I think it's actually this one with the pink. With the pink. Yeah, I just have a look for the pictures again. In here? Yeah. Wow, oh, it looks really cool. It looks beautiful. Hi. How are hey. You? Good. Yee okay. Any anywhere? Okay. Oh, look at this. It looks like a chateau. Wow, that looks so nice. Okay. Are you ready? Guys, you have to see this apartment right here. It is grand. Look at this. This is just the hallway. <laughs> so we just asked the lady, like, uh, which room are we going to be staying in? And she's like, no, no. The whole place is yours. So we've got a kitchen here. Look, a whole kitchen with the fridge and everything you need. And then look at the size of the bedroom. This is just like one bedroom. I mean, it's like a bed with like a whole dance floor here. And then there's a second bedroom that we didn't even know there was two. Look at that. I've never seen such big bedrooms. It's so cool. I don't think we've ever stayed in a place as big as this. No, should we move to Aktau? Okay. So we rent the place for the next year. <laughs> Let's buy it. And look, the bathroom. Yeah, even this is spacious. The washing machine. Yep. Look at that. I'm so impressed. Wow. So we will chill out here for the next two days and figure out how to get Bumblebee across the Caspian Sea into Azerbaijan. <laughs> and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.